My Google Classroom. Video number 10, Google Classroom Tips for Teachers. One of the many perks of Google Classroom is the time it saves teachers. Here are just a few of the ways Classroom can help make a class more productive without adding additional time constraints for educators. Number one, your assignments. It helps you organize files not only in Classroom, but also keeps Google Drive neat and tidy. Number two, use Control plus F to find numbers and words in Classroom. Use the keyboard shortcut, Control plus F, Command plus F on a Mac to search for keywords or assignment numbers, as mentioned above on the page. Teach students this trick too. Number three, pick an organizational strategy for using topics. Using the topic feature on the classroom page helps organize assignments for students and teachers. There are several different ways to organize. Choose a strategy that works for your content area and grade level. Number four, Create a resource topic and keep at the top of the class work page. Every class needs a place to store resources, links, class rules, syllabus, etc. Create a specific topic for resources and class material and keep it near the top for easy access. Be sure to name these files clearly so that students know exactly what is there. Number 5. Create a Google Classroom class template. Once you have selected your favorite organization method for Google Classroom and tested it, make a copy of the class as your template. You can continue to make a copy every time you need a new class and already have all your topics created and organized, and your assignments will be saved as drafts. Number 6. Use direct links to assignments. Did you know you can get a direct link to a specific assignment? This makes it so easy to refer students back to a particular activity. Just go to Classroom page, locate the assignment, click on the three dots to the right of the assignment and copy the link. Number 7. Use Google Docs as a syllabus secondary. Many teachers use Google Docs to create a syllabus so that it is a living document that can be updated throughout the year. Add links to outside resources, daily assignments, import dates, etc. You can even put links to Google Classroom assignments, see above, to avoid the long search for students. Number 8. Break projects into smaller assignments with separate due dates. Big projects can be overwhelming for students, especially those who haven't learned how to manage their time. It's important to give them milestones and chunk the projects into smaller assignments with checkpoints. Number 9. Use private comments for reflection. Some teachers take the private comments feature a step further and make it part of the assignments by requiring that students add a reflection as a private comment after they submit their assignment. Sean Fahey suggests using an open-ended question or give students a prompt like, what did you like most about the assignment? Or what part challenged you the most? Number 10. Attach a template document for each assignment. Attach a blank Google Doc to a template to each assignment as a copy for each student. In Google Classroom, you can view the assignment page and see a thumbnail for each student. This allows you to see progress, or lack thereof, at a glance. Number 11. Some more tips. Invite teachers that are hesitant to use Google Classroom to be a student or co-teacher in your class. Use private comments for meaningful feedback and conversations with students. Create a separate classroom for enrichment and extension activities. Create a demo student account to demonstrate Google Classroom to your students. These are tips that will save you time and save your sanity. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video lesson.